Okay, I was curious to test the GPS battery drain on the Garmin Instinct 2 versus the Fitbit Charge 6, but there was a difference in GPS that I used here. Uh, specifically here on the Fitbit uh, Charge 6, if we just go to settings, we go to GPS here, right there. Um, I used dynamic GPS, which actually toggles between the phone and the, uh, the device itself. So it, it was not solely on the Fitbit Charge 6 here, but moving over to the Garmin here, I did use the device's GPS, uh, specifically um, scrolling down here, going into the satellites. I used the default GPS plus the G-L-O-N-A-S-S, which is also on the default on the Fitbit Charge 6 in the built-in GPS uh, again, which is GPS and G-L-O-N-A-S-S. -S. The Garmin Instincts 2 also has different GPS settings here. For example, we use the default. If I were to scroll down, it has GPS only, uh, increased battery life. If I scroll down again, this is again the default one here, GPS plus G-L-O-N-A-S-S, -S, balanced performance. And then if I were to scroll down again, GPS plus Galileo, uh, balanced performance and then it also has right here uh, ultra track best battery lower accuracy on the fitbit charge 6 it has the dynamic gps again that's the phone and the built-in gps if i were to push that again it has the built-in gps impacts battery and then it has uh, the gps just using the phone and then back to dynamic gps so testing on a one hour walk the battery drain was actually similar on both devices uh, which was interesting.